Welcome back everybody, Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com, and this is Drift Socks 101. So drift fishing is a very popular way to fish for catfish. Drift fishing in its most basic form, just going along, letting the wind blow you, dragging baits across the bottom. Now there's some more advanced forms of drift fishing, controlled drifting, strolling, trolling, different people call it different names. But one of the key pieces of drift fishing with the wind is a drift sock. This is a drift sock. This is a very big drift sock because I got a big boat. I'm going to throw this out in the water here and let it start dragging so we can start fishing. Now, some of the key things you want to remember if you're going to get a drift sock, you've never bought them before, you're not sure exactly what you need. Good drift socks will pay for themselves very quickly. There's little cheap ones you'll find about this big around at the store you can get for about $10. Unless you're fishing out of a kayak in two mile an hour winds, they're not gonna do anything for you. Manufacturers are gonna have a chart on their socks that talk about the size boat and the size sock you should use. Match that up to your boat size and length. And usually they're gonna have a scale where they'll say, you know, 60 inches is good for 18 to 22 foot boat, but 70 inches is good for a 20 to 24 foot boat. Always go with the high end because you're better off having a bigger sock than a smaller one. Bigger the boat, the bigger the sock's gonna have to be. The more wind you have, the bigger the sock's gonna need to be to slow the boat down. I suggest that you get two. Now the ones that I use, are the Cabela's Advanced Angler Pro Series Drift Socks. I've been using those for quite some time. They're the best option that I've found. Um, they expand very quickly in the water and uh, they got a good dump line on them so they're easy to pull in. When you get a drift sock, make sure that you get a harness with it. That's the piece that runs from the boat to the drift sock. It's got a float on it. It's going to help keep the drift sock up on the top of the water. It's also going to save that sock if it comes off the boat or you have to remove it from the boat. Now you can experiment. I like to use uh, drift socks when I'm drifting with the wind off the side of the boat. It's not real windy today, so I've got one sock out right in the middle of the side of the boat. You can use them on the front. You just have to kind of experiment because every boat drifts a little bit different, but you just have to kind of play around with it and see what works best for your boat and the size drift sock that you have. If you're going to drift fish for catfish using the wind, this is an essential item that you want to make sure that you have. Again, make sure you get one that's big enough. Make sure you get a good one and make sure that you get a harness. Keep it up off, uh, on the top of the water and save it. Something happens, it comes off the boat or you have to throw it over. Until next time, I'm Chad Ferguson, catfishedge.com. Make sure you hit that like button below this video. Make sure you subscribe to our YouTube channel. For more in-depth tips, tricks, and information, head over to catfishedge.com. You'll find a lot more information there to help you catch more bigger catfish.